insulin. It has proven to be invaluable in effectively managing diabetes, but most of the current methods for calculating insulin doses rely on the ability of patients to quickly make complex calculations in their head. This can be confusing for patients, explains endocrinologist Dr. Jean-Francois Yale from the McGill Nutrition and Food Science Center, particularly for those who have varying doses based on glucose levels or what they eat. In both cases, it is important to make the right decision. Calculating the proper insulin dose can be quite difficult because it involves a lot of calculations based on the current sugar level and based on the amount of carbohydrates that they'll be eating as well as the physical activity they'll do. So there's a lot of calculations that require numerical skills and they have to come up with the number with some confidence, so it's often quite challenging. So devices that can help patients calculate the proper amount of insulin they need uh, are very useful and traditionally it's been the insulin pumps and it's been making these uh, devices very popular because of that. More recently some uh, glucose monitors have had this ability, particularly the freestyle insulins which can calculate the insulin dose the person requires based on their glucose levels currently and if set in this way also taking into account the carbohydrates that people eat. So it gives a lot of confidence in people in having the right amount uh, calculated for them. In a recent survey of Canadian healthcare professionals, 97% stated that their patient's ability to manage insulin therapy limits the intensity or complexity of the therapy he or she can recommend. Dr. Yale says this indicates a need within the diabetes community for strategies and systems to support physicians when they initiate and intensify insulin therapy. Freestyle Insulinx is the first blood glucose meter in Canada that calculates suggested mealtime insulin doses. The software also allows patients and their healthcare team to track and spot glucose patterns and the impact that their insulin dosages have on the management of their blood glucose. Upon approval, this device became the first of its kind in North America. Nazim Suleiman, who has been living with diabetes for 17 years, shares what the availability of such new technologies means to him. The thing I like the most about the freestyle insulin is it allows me to have control and confidence over the amount of dosage of insulin I take. For more information on Freestyle Insulinx, visit www.freestyleinsulinx.com.